Clemson University is known for signing five-star prospects on the football field, but who are some of the people responsible for getting some of the best students in the country to come to Clemson? Clemson students Paige Beaterwolf and Drayton Reilly say tour guides may have something to do with it. I hate bragging on myself and my organizations, uh, but you know, we get fantastic class year in and year out. Um, you know, the, the football team does a great job uh, pulling people in, but you know, when they actually come to the campus, uh, we're some of the first people they get to meet up. We can just show them our uh, southern charm, our hospitality, um, just what it means to be a Clemson Tiger. The group of tour guides at Clemson are awesome. I mean, they're really great people. It's just a very supportive group of people, and it's just an awesome organization. It's very rewarding to get to see people come up to you and tell you that you're the reason that they decided to come to Clemson. This student-led organization takes visitors on a two-hour lap around Clemson showing off the campus while explaining a lot of what the university has to offer. Soon-to-be Clemson graduate Drayton Reilly explains why he became a Clemson tour guide. Kind of growing up as a Clemson fan, um, I've just always had a huge passion for Clemson. Um, and then coming to school here, I, I took a couple official tours, and it's just like, that's a really cool place that you get to be um, an ambassador for Clemson, uh, that you really get to represent your school. I was just honored with the chance to interview for the position. I eventually got it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just something that I get to express my passion for Clemson um, and just the pride and love I have for this school. Paige, a junior at Clemson, explains that with a great position comes great responsibility. I think the best part about being a tour guide at Clemson is that the responsibility that you have. I mean, you're potentially the only student that those tour groups are going to see when they come to campus. So for Clemson to give you that responsibility and see that in you is definitely one of the most rewarding aspects. If you think becoming a Clemson tour guide is an easy process, then you may sadly be mistaken. It's a lot. Um, I did it as a freshman, so I actually had no idea. I just saw an online application to be a tour guide, and I went with it. I thought that that was the only step of the process, but I could not have been more wrong. And then you go to a meet and greet with all of the tour guides. It's at the visitor center, and you can ask them all kinds of questions about the process and get acclimated to it. And then you have an individual interview with one of our vice presidents of recruitment. They'll just ask you questions about tour guides and yourself and Clemson. And then the final round is a mock tour where you actually get up in front of a couple current guides and pretend like you're giving a tour to them. Um, it's really low pressure, it's only five minutes long, but that's kind of the on-hand type experience. They can see what you would be like actually giving a tour, and then you're done. Paige and Drayton explain how personality on student-led tours show how important tour guides can be to any university. I think they're very important because that's the student aspect of the university. You know, parents can look online and look up statistics and all kinds of things about the school itself. But to really hear the experiences of a student who actually goes there and how passionate they are is definitely, I think, something that's very important. It really puts a personality with the university. We are really the first line between high schoolers and actually admitting students. Um, that, you know, you can go to a school, it can be a nasty day like it was today, just pouring down rain, uh, but, you know, the tour guide's the person that can make the tour, that you can overcome some obstacles that are thrown at you. But I think, personally, having energetic, uh, passionate, informational tour guides um, is just very vital uh, to especially um, having a top uh, um, institution. Not every tour can be perfect. There are a few challenges, like bad weather, that tour guides must overcome to provide the best experience for visitors you got to make the best of it. Uh, you know, today it was pouring down rain. I've had the uh, thunderstorm sirens going off on me before. Um, and, you know, you just got to throw a joke in there and make fun of the rain. So to just to really please everybody on the tour can be really challenging. You want to make sure that you cater to everybody, answer all of their questions, make sure you show clips and why it's going to be great for them in particular. And that can be difficult when you have a large group of people and you don't know really what they're looking for. You have people from all over the country, um, you know, and it, you have to portray the information uh, to where it not only makes Clemson look fantastic, which it is, uh, but to help the school really sell itself and apply to all majors. Tailoring a tour that keeps everybody interested the entire time, it can be challenging. Even with all the challenges, student tour guides don't get paid a dime, but they do get satisfaction in other ways. A girl and her mom came up to me after the tour ended, and her mom was like, you know, I, don't, I didn't want to tell you this before the tour, but she was actually accepted into Clemson. I wasn't sure if she wanted to come. I talked to the girl about it after the tour, and she said, you know, I, this was really my deciding factor as to whether or not I was going to come to Clemson, and because of your tour, I will be here in the fall. So to hear that from somebody, to hear that I influenced their decision in such an awesome way, that was definitely such a rewarding experience.
For more information on becoming a Clemson tour guide, be sure to visit the Clemson University Alumni Center. From Clemson University, Sanders Sullivan, Clemson News Now.